Hey guys, so um, I just want to do this video for a friend of mine on YouTube. His name's Adam, aka Anti Cena Guy. I've known him for six years now. Next year, tomorrow, will be seven years since I have known this incredible man. I wanted to take time out of my busy schedule just to do this video for him because I saw that he did a video about him being depressed. You know, it. You know, when I watched that video of yours, Adam, it, you know, it it made me sad. I felt really sorry for you because of knowing the fact that you were hurting that much. It was the first time that I have ever seen you cry. Even though we don't talk as much as we used to about seven years ago, but regardless, I still care about you, man. You say that, <clears throat> you try therapists, you tried exercising, eating right, all of that, which is fantastic. That is awesome that you have reached out about it. And trust me, dieting and working out is some of the best things that you can do physically and mentally. Around, shoot, uh, late 2014, pretty much, first half of 2015, and then again, around the beginning of this year, I had troubles with eating too much junk food and not exercising enough. From January of this year all the way until August, I slipped back, I ate too much junk food, I didn't exercise enough. Ate, I drank too much caffeine and I weighed almost 200 pounds. Yeah. That really hurt my self-esteem. You know, I know I'm going to sound like I have an ego, but, you know, it's just part of my self-esteem. It's just you know, that, you know, I just want to be able to take my shirt off and not feel embarrassed. And I think that a lot of people, you know, regardless what your sex is, regardless the circumstances, we all have been there when we all have felt insecure about ourselves. But once when I finally did something about it, I... Cut out the caffeine. Instead, I would drink muscle milk and eat a, and eat a lot of chicken with a lot of protein. Don't eat as much fast food. The only fast food now I have is Subway, and I am very, very careful about what I put on my sandwich. You know, that really does help. And you've said that you have tried everything. Well, man, well, man I'm going to be honest with you. People can only help you when you are willing to help yourself. I recall that you told me about seven years ago that if I ever came down to where you're at, you would want me to drink with you. Sorry, I got a text. But man, I think that maybe that could be your problem, drinking. Everything's permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Which means... You have a thing called free will. You can make whatever choice that y you want to, man. Regardless of if it's moral, immoral, legal, illegal, whatever. But not everything is going to be beneficial. Like, you know, as you can obviously tell, I'm a big fan of horror films. But I shouldn't just sit there and watch horror movies all day. Because I have a thing called responsibilities. And whether we like... Whether we like to or not, we have to, we have to do our responsibilities like, I don't know, me picking up my room, taking care of the house, taking care of myself, etc. We have to do it. We can't just run away from it. With booze, oh man, I've definitely had my issues with that in my lifetime. In high school, I, I was hanging out with the wrong crowd, and I would party, which is scary because before high school, I would say, oh, I will never drink alcohol until I'm 21. You see, that really goes to show, you know, the people in your life can make a huge impact, either for the better or for the worst. You, you got to be wise about who is in your life.
I learned that the really hard way. And even after when I lost my friend from suicide, I, I slipped back to drinking. I was, I was drinking all the pain away, which made it worse because alcohol is a depressant. If you are feeling depressed, especially if you have if you have had issues with depression in your life, like, like like me and you and other people, you probably should not be having it at all. Now, trust me, I understand quitting is hard. All of November, I was sober until this month. I had a few relapses due to some personal issues in my life so trust me I understand getting sober is hard but it doesn't mean that it's impossible anything is possible if you just set your mind to it regardless what the naysayers say regardless what what your self-doubt is telling you you can do it you just have to make it a goal you have to like write it down or something so in that way you can remember it because people sometimes have a tendency to forget about things. Sometimes we feel the. Sometimes we fear failure, which I can understand why. Cause nobody likes having a failure. I sure as hell didn't like any of my failures in my lifetime. When I lost my friend from from suicide, I felt like that that was my biggest failure. I I felt like that I failed her. Knowing that I knew about it and I didn't do anything about it. That was my biggest failure. Another failure that I had was that I was driving home one day from the gym. I saw that there was a poor anorexic dog eating a dead bird in the middle of the road. And I pulled over. I wasn't going to take that dog to a shelter like where like they, where if it doesn't find a home in a certain amount of time, like that they will kill it. I was going to take it to a no-kill shelter, which I know that they do have those. But unfortunately, by the time that I pulled over and got out of my car, the dog got ran over right in front of my face. I felt like that I failed that dog. There have been times when I felt like I failed myself, I failed my, fa my, my friends and family because that I hurt them when I, when I never intended to. But we have failures because we are imperfect people living in an imperfect world. But however, it's how we respond to those things that matter most. When I would drink all the pain away, I would think more about everything that's wrong with my life rather than what's right about it. And also, if you drink too much booze, it's also been scientifically proven, blah, 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 proven it can cause diabetes and a whole list of other physical problems and mental problems, too. Like that. I know this one girl at my college age youth group, and she has a mental disability only because that when her mom was pregnant w with her, her mom would constantly drink alcohol when she shouldn't have and it's really sad knowing the fact that her daughter now has to live with that for the rest of her life that's really sad and you see and that just really goes to show that that just one choice that you make in life it can make you where you're at now and where somebody else is at now like when I first saw John Carpenter's Halloween, I never expected it to make me start playing piano and have all this horror movie stuff in my room and, and all that. I never expected that. And you see, just from watching that movie, it brought me where I am now. And even after when I lost my friend from suicide and after that dog got ran over right in front of my face, it made me who I am now. It made me a stronger person and it made me wiser. Now I'm not saying that I'm happy that it happened, but you see bad things happen for a reason so that good things can come out from them. 
Adam. You just have to be willing to allow those good things to happen. You are in control of your life. Your life is a result of the choices that you make. If you want better results, then you've got to start making better choices. Man, I've learned that the hard way. I know I'm repeating myself about the booze in high school and even now. It's really true. When I would start to drink again because of my friend's suicide, I, I hurt more of my friends and family. At like one time, I was supposed to go to a Christmas service with my family, lunch during the movie, but I didn't go because I was too hungover. And that's a pretty good reason for my parents to be pissed off at me. But you see, Adam, regardless, you know, it's not about how hard that you get hit, but how hard that you, you can get hit and keep moving forward, man. I hope that you know that I will always be here for you.